Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have something fun for you. We're going to be making a yardstick door swag. You could also use it as a centerpiece or a garland. You could spray paint your yardstick if you wanted to. We cut ours a little bit shorter. Mine measures 30 inches. You will need two rolls of the 10 inch deco mesh and mine came from Hobby Lobby and you're going to need some pipe cleaners to get started. I didn't have enough of one color of pipe cleaners, so that's why I'm using three different colors, but that doesn't matter. I would prefer to have used all one color, but you're going to move down about two, two and a half inches on your yardstick, take a pipe cleaner, and you're going to twist it around your yardstick and make it go on the side. So one's gonna go on the left side, then you're going to take a second one, twist it on the right side, and then you're going to take a third one and you're going to put it pointing toward the ceiling. To do our next set of pipe cleaners, you're going to want to move down about three or four inches, and you're going to need three more pipe cleaners, and we're going to do the same pattern. So one on the left, one on the right, one in the center. You are going to do the same pattern all the way down the yardstick. Yardstick, door swags, or centerpieces, or garlands, however you want to use them. I use them a variety of different ways, but they're one of my favorite things to make, so I have lots of tutorials on my YouTube channel. This one could be used for winter or for Christmas. I like to add a little bit of hot glue around the pipe cleaners, that way they don't slide or move. After your hot glue has had time to dry, you're going to start with your 10 inch mesh, make a poof, gather it in your hand, and we're going to work on the left side. So go to the top of your yardstick, the pipe cleaner on the left, take the mesh, put it in the pipe cleaner, and give the pipe cleaner a few twists. Then fold your pipe cleaner back down to the left side, now you're going to just be making poofs. So slide your hand down about six or seven inches, make a poof, go to the second set of pipe cleaners, the one on the left side, twist your mesh into your pipe cleaner. Same steps, let out more mesh, make a poof about six or seven inches or so. Just try to make your poofs the same size each time and don't pull them too tight. So just twist that pipe cleaner around your mesh and you're going to do the same thing all the way down the left side, all the way down the right side, and then you're going to do the same thing all the way down the center. You will need two rolls of the deco mesh. You're not going to need two full rolls, but you will need two rolls of this 10 inch deco mesh.
Now you're going to do the same thing down the center. Just continue making your poofs or puffs the same size as you have been. Make sure you're making them about the same size. If you need to pull out a ruler and measure each time, do it because that's the key to making it look good. I just kind of let my mesh hang down kind of like a tail or a streamer but you could do a poof on the end so that both ends match and this is the way it looks when you get it complete and full of your two rolls of 10 inch deco mesh and I did have quite a bit of the second roll left now I'm going to be using some ribbon I purchased at Sam's Club and I am just going to be adding ribbon down the left and right side of my swag so you're going to go to the left side and twist that ribbon in your top left pipe cleaner on the left side and push it down to the table. Let out some of your ribbon. Do not pull it tight. Go to your second pipe cleaner on the left side. You could untwist it if you need to. Put the ribbon in it, then twist it back. It's up to you. Just make sure you get that pipe cleaner nice and tight around it and do not pull it tight. You're going to do the same steps all the way down the left side and then I left a tail at the end and then I started at the top went all the way down the right side and left a tail at the end or streamers I picked up my snowman at a local boutique and then my shatterproof Christmas ornaments came from Sam's Club and now here I'm just adding a bow. I have lots of bow tutorials on my YouTube channel so if you don't like this bow let me know and I can link another one for you. Just remember try to make your loops the same size on each side and this is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire and ribbon with wire makes the prettiest bows because the loops will stand up so now I have the bow the size I want, so I'm going to let out a tail, cut it off, and now I'm going to take some 20 gauge floral wire, wrap it nice and tight around the center of my bow, then I'm going to dovetail the ends, and then I'm going to fluff the loops. Now I'm going to be putting the bow just under the little snowman's head, kind of like a bow tie, a big bow tie. To attach the snowman's head it's just lightweight styrofoam I just took some floral wire and wrapped it around the little pick that was on just right below his head wrapped the wire on it wired it to the yardstick door swag in two places and then you can add some hot glue so that it does not move then here I'm adding the, the bow just below his head and just thread the wire through the deco mesh then go to the back twist the wires and then cut them off and fold them down. And then here I'm adding some ribbon down the center of the yardstick door swag. I am in a habit of saying deco mesh, but this is a fabric mesh from Hobby Lobby. After I added the red ribbon down the center, I just let out a tail. And then I decided to add some shatterproof Christmas ornaments. And I like to do clusters, so it's easier for me just to thread two or three on a pipe cleaner, then twist the pipe cleaner and then that way you can take the pipe cleaner and you can wire them on to your yardstick door swag 
or you can hot glue them on. Now this would be so pretty as a centerpiece or a garland. So there's lots of options when you make a yardstick. You could also add some battery powered LED lights to your yardstick door swag. And here I'm just adding some more shatterproof Christmas ornaments. And then you could add some floral picks if you wanted to. I have lots of tutorials and I do my yardstick door swags, garlands, centerpieces a little bit different each time. To hang it up, I usually just drill a hole in the top of the yardstick and add some wire. And also don't forget to trim your pipe cleaner short before you hang it on your door. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and leave me a comment.